continue to struggle to get its wheels up, Treasury will be seeking to sell a controlling stake in Kenya with, to a strategic foreign investor who is expected to inject capital in the restructuring of the troubled national carrier and possibly return it to profitability. Let's have a look at this and other stories in business. This is according to Chris Kipto, the nominee for the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Treasury, when he was being vetted for the position before the Parliamentary Committee. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's an important airline, but I think one has to ask uh, to what extent you have to continue carrying the airline uh, when it is so expensive to, to maintain. And I think it's time to look at how to address some of this, including you know, other options. Uh, like uh, partnering with others. If the sales goes through, it would see the government's shareholding reduced from 48.9% and cut the ownership of lenders who converted their debt to a 38% stake. Elsewhere, the standard gauge railway SGR passenger service from Nairobi to Mombasa is fully booked ahead of the festive season, forcing holidaymakers to seek expensive alternative methods of travel like air that has seen a more double in rising tickets. Finally, Rift Valley Regional Commissioner Mr. Mali Mohammed has said the national government had ramped up its effort to address the needs of the SMEs through establishment of a financial inclusion fund, the Haslas Fund. Speaking in Nakuru County when he launched public participation for the National Treasury proposed Haslas Fund, Mr. Malim has underscored the importance of SMEs to the country's economic development and job creation. The challenges they face, including lack of credit or expensive credit facilities to enable them expand their business. Policy guidance that a hustler's fund be established under the Public Finance Management Act 2012, particularly under Section 24 of this Act. Edwin John Mokora, Look Up TV. More university students have threatened to hold 